Damn. Great peel for the bishop to stay alive right there. Nope. I got the back. Are gonna get they are gonna get a good, good grab oh, here. But he's not able to come here, so to miss his slam. That could have been a huge kill. You gotta be quicker than He's this. missing his slams! Alright, how much did I miss? I know I'm a little bit late here. Hello everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Am I giving keys? Well, yes, yes, I will. I'll be giving out some keys at the start of the play, so if I'm not I'm not too late. But yeah, once again, my name is Stars. I am a FPS gamer. I play Apex Legends, Rainbow Six, and the finals. I am enjoying my time supervised. Um, I will be giving away, once again, I'll be giving away codes at the end of this show match. All right, we got BAP, Aiden Bai on the first screen. Wait, wait. Second screen, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and have uh, Tom okay. Kick. Yeah, Tom Kick, DJ who is on Kicking uh, Chipmunks. We have Venomous on Skibbity Riz. We got Snood on Super Villains. We're gonna have Stevenator, who's gonna be on Q Deathmatch. We have Ryan Lemire, who's gonna be, I remember correctly, it's a light, Glass Dance. Yep. We have DJ Montague, who's gonna be on Moonlight Moonlit Battlegrounds. And then we have Dolphy Vix. Who's gonna be on Bebo Mafiosos, and we have Gliding Goobies with Pink Word LOL. Anyway, everyone's gonna be thinking down. Looks like, like, like Vimus and Skibbity Riz are gonna go ahead and bail. They're gonna still go ahead and head towards Vine Grove since they are gonna have people landing to their east. Okay, so I didn't know this, but it looks like if you bail early, that your glider pack, glider, you have a lot more glider fuel than what you normally would. We are gonna have the. Oh, Dolphin Vix was not alive anymore. Okay, I lied. All right, so. Oh, we're going to be watching OC15 for Bebo Mafiosos. All right, so right now, teams are just going to be farming. And let's take a look at a zone real quick. So zone is going to be pulling... It's going to be starting out over here northeast. So teams are going to have to start making their way up here. And I'm getting a call from my... Nice. All right, we're back. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to see a super villain. It's just going to go ahead and start breaking that ball open to go ahead and get whatever's in there. It's like to get blue armor. Rally is going to be really good for them as well. And they have the anti-radar. Um, I forgot what that one's called, but yeah, it's called Jammer. That's right. Yeah. We got teams right now just farming, trying to get to level four. Everyone is still alive at this moment in time. There really hasn't been any true engagements we've really seen from any of these teams. But overall, yeah, everyone's just going to play really, really safe here. As... We are in the opening opening day. Oh, ideally, yeah. you want ideally you want to get a day two, because <clears throat> day two is where you start getting your ultimates. <clears throat> so if you can get your ultimate, you'll be in a really good advantage against other players. Right now, as you can see, like the level cap is level number four. It's gonna be level four. Day two, you'll be able to get to level six, and then day number four, we able to get to day. Oh wait. No, it's just yeah, they're gonna be they're gonna be chasing down a team. Whose team is this? It's gonna be Abador. We gotta try to get two positions. Yeah, it's gonna be Abador and on. Well, we're pushing. We're pushing. Base yeah, on, right now, yeah, on the last dance. Yeah, it's gonna be last dance versus you death match right here yeah. nice, nice. they're gonna be getting good damage and going in they're gonna go ahead and get that finish on the abador right here at least they're gonna try to at least yeah i didn't get in now they're based, now rylan mer and the last dance are gonna be forced to run away right here they are choosing to go to frag isle to go ahead and get that res so as you can hear he's gonna go he's gonna go ahead and wait till nighttime so he can grab the items from vine vein grove Vault. Kobayashi's, that's where it is. Yeah, I'm ha my memory's going bad. I just woke up too, so. Alright, DJ Montague and the kick, and not the kick, the moon, Moonlit Battlegrounds are going to be taking another fight right here. They are still level 4. Halfway to level 5 right now. So at night time, as long as you fight a camp that is a higher level than you, you will be able to get experience. So you can get to okay. towards getting to the next um, level. So, so if you're right. finding cancer at level five, you can potentially get to that level five. Obviously, oh, experience gain is not gonna be as big, but it's still relatively nice to do. We're just gonna go ahead and disengage here. Yep, careful. As we careful. see that Stevenator and his team are gonna be taking another fight here. Sandwall. <clears throat> They're not gonna do that. Okay, looks like we're not gonna be able to see that fight. <laughs> 
Yeah, it looks like Steven Aaron and his team are going to be able to get some good kills. I'm guessing that's the dev team. If that's anyone that they just ran into. They are going to be able to get that kill and finish onto one of the players on team. Two. Actually, that might be the whole team, actually. No, it's not. So it looks like he got, got it on the two players. They are going to find a new team. And whose team is this going to be? <laughs> This is going to be Snood's team, Super Villains, pop, coming up, getting good damage in here. Snood just trying to live here, popping his ult, trying to live. Great movement coming out from Snood. Ghoul's able to get a good kill here. Even Nader is going to get a good trade on here, and they are able to get that res. Now it's going to be a 4v3, as Snood's team is now going to be forced to retreat. <laughs> Is it devs? <laughs> I'm, uh, popping kite. As a new team starts to pull up on Steven here? No, they, they end up chasing here. down Snood. Everybody believes so. No, it's not. Who is that? I'm starting it up. Is your keys? Yeah, hey, welcome, Sweaty Letters. Or Swatty Letters. Like I said, both of these links do help me out as we are seeing Tom Kick try to go and misses his slam, not able to get anything done. Now it's out up to his team, get the res reset. They do have level six and night two, so they do have their ultimates ready to go. Tom Kick does have no armor left, so he's gonna be more vulnerable and susceptible to more damage. So they have to play this really, really slow. It's just fucking when I got hit. Yeah, they're trying to play that air blast, but it's not looking good because enemy brawl is going to go in. I'm looking in. Great peel for the bishop to stay alive right there. Nope. I got uh, knocked back. I can't follow up. As we can see, we have a lot of we have a lot of teams starting to rotate through Frag Isle. So we, away, it's, away, it's going to be really interesting to see how a lot of these teams navigate the terrain here. There's not a lot of cover in, in the northeastern part of the zone as compared to as if you're saying if you're going to through the central part of the zone or anywhere south southern for that matter. There's not a lot of cover compared. They are going to get they are going to get a good good grab here, but he's not going to miss his Mrs. Slam. That could have been a huge kill. You gotta be quicker than that. He's missing his slams. DJ Montague trying to go. He gets a good kill. DJ Montague right here trying to chase the jewel down. Gets a nice dunk. Wow. Can you ever see him starting to pull up? I take a fight. Keep chasing. Guard chasing his team. I'm walling, walling in. I've got ult if I need to. I'm coming back down to you. Yeah, I'm going uh, to... So That's going to be Freyren and Snood. The super villains getting chased down right here. Getting good counter damage, but they are low right oh, now. It's going... They have a great kill. Snood able to get an opening pick alongside Freyren here. Trying to reset. He's not going to get it. Can someone help uh, Nate? Or... Yeah, you're... Ooh, it's not looking good. It looks like they are going to get chased down. Unfortunate. So the great news it is, it looks like they have XP soul, which means they can overcap their levels to level 10. The crazy thing is, we haven't lost any teams quite yet. Every team is still up right now. Bro, it would be crazy if I had another stacked end zone like we did in the, in the European show match. Ooh, Tom Kick trying to live, and it's not looking good. Yeah, and Tom Kick yeah. is going to be out. Wow, he was the, they were our second place finishers in the EU. Playtest, Kick and Chipmunks are out. And this is what our zone is looking like right here. Thank credits to Snood for having the map up. Looks like it's pulling Dawn Caps. Once again, it could pull back south. It looked like it might just because we do see that green armor coming out from the bottom right. Yeah, a lot of teams starting to navigate through as we see Snoot and his team navigating through Kobayashi's trying to get a res here. It is daytime, so they can't be hurt there or else the other team will die. He needs to be careful, though, just because if the, if they do have a kingpin and he gets pulled through that energy core right there, he will die. But no one's going to contest, so they do get that res for free, and they get the reset. All right, we're seeing teams starting to zone out. OC15 and his team are starting to play south side. Thinking that zone's gonna pull down, which I'm not gonna lie, I'm thinking it's good. But no, it looks like they're trying to engage on this team that's trying to get these crystals. He's kind of alone. 
Oh my god. You didn't want to you? you got, they are gonna get full. Good pull. Good pull. Damage coming out. OC15 coming from behind. Trying to kill that Luna before the ult goes off. He does get the cancel onto it. Great damage coming out. That is going to be down. It's a 4v3. DJ Montague, playing Northside, playing by themselves, yeah, yeah. trying to reset. There's another team on our on our, our left as well. DJ Montague just needs to play for spikes uh, right now. You need to be very, very careful. Oof. As who is it that's coming for the third party? It's going, it's not super villains. It's going to be Stevenator and his team coming in from the east. They are rocking that gunner. And it's funny because a lot some people do think Gunner is kind of underpowered. People don't understand is the great thing about Gunner is he does have a good execute. So it's really, really nice. If, as we see the team going through the myth. Oh no, it's not looking good. He's eating zone there just so he can get stunned by the Celesto. He's trying to get out. Steiner using all his dashes, all charges done to get out of that fight. I'm pulling Keegan's Wisp. Yeah, yeah, Keegan res me. Keegan res me. Grab the wall. Nice, that was huge. Yeah. yeah, they're getting good damage in here. They're going to get a reset as we see that it's all down to Snoo trying to run away. But Stevenator says, no, you're not getting away from me. But Snoo being very, very sneaky, being very, very... <laughs> no, never mind. It, he's not getting away. Yeah, and they're going to be down to a one player. OC15 is going to be down, and his team are going to be down. That's going to be Bebo Mafioso is eliminated. We are going to go ahead and see a fight from the last dance. Huge damage coming out. They need to be careful. He's going to counter Celesto. This is going to be huge. Great displacement coming out. Stevenator, last one alive on the team. All right. It's going to be two allied. Two left on the team. They're just going to go ahead and play for finishes here. I got red GA, I got red GA. At least you're fine. I think we just have to, like, if we Yunir's have to gonna be down to a duo playing most wanted. And there's gonna be playing around dunks on so south side. We, one of the teams are. we, we see them. three we on map. We see three on map. Yeah, this is gonna go ahead and back off. Team is gonna walk up a little bit just to yeah, make sure they have that space like control. control Overall, they're not gonna chase and overcommit. They don't wanna be led into another team. Yunir's gonna go ahead and throw base camp down. Like Which I said, one? just so they have vision control over south side zone. We do have Venomous and his team go, trying to make it rotate through Vangrove. He is surrounded by Aiden BY. So he has to be careful. Snooze team is going to be eliminated right here. So we are down to five team. Wait, five. Oh, Pinkworm's team died? When did they die? Okay. So we are down to BAP. Skibbity Riz. Q Deathmatch, uh, we're gonna have just The Last Dance, we're gonna have and again, Moonlit we're Battlegrounds. These are our remaining yeah, teams. Venomous team is going to go down early, Probably getting pinched player out. Player it's down player. to our final four. Brian Lemur and The Last Dance yeah, trying to get good zone, yeah, trying to become two-time yeah. champions of both NA and EU yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're in great yeah, position here. The Unfortunately, they don't They yeah, don't yeah, have yeah, XP yeah. soul. Steam yeah. their team's yeah. still alive, just doing good zoning on southeast side of the zone here. From the left coast? Those two teams are going to be forced into each other soon. Like anything good? Yep, Steven is right. Aiden B.Y. and Ryan Lemur are going to have to fight each other. Last dance. Trying to take spaces. Trying to take this fight early. Trying to get kills here. That'd be very careful, though. Not a lot of space for him to play. Kaiju, Kaiju scale does go out, and they are going to lose one. It's... So now they're down to a three man. Okay. I got it. I can also, right his box is in the circle, so I might be able to sneak something. Did you want to you? Does get a tether onto... Yeah, we're chilling, we're chilling. Up above us, above death us. Death match. Mm, never mind. Floppy Penguin's gonna come in, gets a good ult. Never mind, he gets stunned out of it. Stunned. Gonna, oh, right, Stevenator's so getting good damage onto the north here. He is gonna go down, though. Great zone controlling from the team to stay alive there. Uh, res me, res me, res me, res me. DJ Mono, you trying to see if they can find a way to present this reg. It's not going to happen. He got re out of that? Nice, uh, no nice. Fun. Yeah, are going to go ahead and get a re knock here on. on t <laughs> Actually, I, I didn't even see, it to so see who they got a re knock on. We don't crazy push this. We don't crazy push this. It's blue on me. Blue on me. Right here. 50%. I'm looking. NBY and his team taking a fight. Are the Fiend on me X. They are going to be forced to get a res. 
And I think that was Ashley Grindley Murr's team. Yeah, it was. They were able to get their teammate up off of that knock. They're going to go ahead and third party this fight. DJ Montague and Steven Ader are, are getting third party right now. Right the Murr's team trying to make the play here. Nope. They're going to go ahead and reset here. Huge fights breaking out all over the map. No, we can hold. We can hold and kite back. We can hold kite back. I don't want to let Luke and Floppy's team back in the game. They're they're ten right now. They're like out of storm. They have to do something. They just got wiped. Yeah, so you can hear that right here, Ryan Lemur. The other seems like you have from behind. And the last dance are trying to prevent. I think I think deathmatch and Stevenator from getting getting into zone here, because they do have XP so and they don't want to have to deal with that later on in the game. So they're gonna go ahead and keep rotating to the south. They were they are funneling all the teams in north. A and BY. Able to keep Westside Control Zone here, but it's going to be Steven Lemire versus DJ Montague right now. Now they are forced to fight here, and DJ Montague is last one alive. He's probably not going to make it out here, and yes, he's going to go down. We're down to our top three. It's going to be BAP versus Q Deathmatch and The Last Dance. Who's going to come out on top? Can The Last Dance win two show matches in a row today to become NA? And EU champions. Everyone's just playing slow, but just keep just keep in mind, Steven Nader and his team have zone advantage here. So they don't have to worry about anything. Aiden BY is gonna send half of the team up to North, so they have that control. So if, if anything, I think right now, Ryan Lemur and the last dance need to dive left, which it looks like they did. So they're gonna start pushing him up north and they're gonna jump pad over, trying to make a play here. Kaiju scale is kinda come out. And all is gonna get hit. He's gonna get stuns onto the other team. Um, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, wait, I'm alive. Holy fuck! I was casting something. It's all right. Nuke is gonna get launched onto. Nice. They are getting pushed to each other. This is huge. Good job from the last dance to push BAP and Q deathmatch into each other. They are gonna have to fight each other. He there is getting pushed down to the south side. They are no longer in zone. Lemur out of position needs to be Sorry, careful. We have to push, we have to push. And they're just going to go ahead and push into the zone. They have no choice at this point. They are going to get tr hit by the train. And it's looking like Ryan Lemur and his team are going to be taking the win here. Are they able to finish? So another one down. Stevenator is all down to Flappy Penguin. And they're going to go ahead down. Ryan Lemur versus Aiden BY. Who's going to come out on top? We're going to go ahead and watch it. From Rylan Murr's point of view here. I'm looking. Okay, wait. I'm going. I'm going. I'm waiting. Okay, okay. This is gonna be. A, this could. Be, this is a great displace here. Emer needs to get out of here. You can. I'm me. I'm I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh no, it's not looking good. They're stopping. It's down to a three v four. They aren't able to get that kill. They might want to get this brawl. They trade. They get the trade. They need to push in now. They cannot allow him to get that res here. Phenomenax getting good damage. More gonna get that ex that kill on the Kenneth. It's all down. There is so they can't do it. And the last dance are able to become two-time champions. Fucking back-to-back kings, baby. What a match! Oh my god, I'm a chunker though. What a match! Oh my god. Coming out from the last dance. To play that so slow, play it so perfectly. The two time. I beat the fuck out of you because the two time champions. No doctor disrespect though. Holy shit. It's gonna be the, as you can hear, it was the chonker that came in clutch to get those stuns so they can be able to win that fight. Thank you.